What's going on guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS bringing you what was one of the best wars that I've ever had the opportunity, the chance to record. We have Forbidden versus Sparks Legacy both in their first CWL invite uh, placement war. The final 113 to 113 Forbidden getting the, the narrowest victory by 0.5% and this came down to just the last few minutes of war. Both clans picking up two 11v11 triples. We have Forbidden who picked up 13 10v10s. SL picking up 12 10v10s. Both clans did uh, unfortunately suffer one dip fail. And right there, uh, you'll notice that, that, that base number 19 was not touched. Um, on the Forbidden side, they had one extra Town Hall 10. And over on the Spartans Legacy side, as we pan on down, I will be showing the LMB11 three stars on the uh, that uh, Forbidden was able to knock out. But on the Spartans Legacy side, you will see that there was one Town Hall 9 that was swag. Again, it does happen. It's more common than you think, but there it is right there. So just a slight, uh, uh, when they were you know doing the match, a Town Hall 10 and a Town Hall 9, you know, kind of slipped in there. Uh, but without further ado, guys, we are going to go ahead and jump into these attacks. Um, but yeah, so we throw, I'll throw it up on the screen. Where is it? There it is. Okay, just so you guys can get the visual. But you, as you see it right there, Forbidden, two 11 11 triples, 13 uh, 10 v 10 three stars. And uh, we have the SL. Where is it? Right there's the SLs. Um, breakdown we had, they had two 11 11 three stars 12 10 v 10s again the final 113 to 113 but as we always do we'll start off we'll show one town hall nine attack we'll jump into some of the best 10 v 10 three stars you've ever seen on youtube uh and then we'll show you guys the pair of 11 v 11 triples that forbidden was able to execute but here we have our raid uh our wade doing not only doing it straight up classic, bringing a CC Golem, just doing a straight up CB Lalo. Wait till you see how many spells this dude ends up swagging on this attack. Uh, but just getting all kinds of value from his initial entry down there at six o'clock. If you missed it, uh, he did to tank the bomb tower. Dude drops one hog to tank the bomb tower in order to get the wall broke. Uh, beautiful execution on that. But you'll see just a straight up Lalo starting over here at three o'clock, bringing in three hay spells, trickling in those loons. And you'll see we do have uh, two two wizard towers, an expo and an archer tower on the backside. Gonna haste in a couple groups of loons in to go ahead and take those defenses out. And this base li literally just folded in on itself. But look down at the troop bar, ladies and gentlemen, swagging a rage and a heal spell. Uh, beautiful Town Hall 9 attack. Uh, this was definitely the best Town Hall 9 attack uh, on the Forbidden side. Definitely wanted to get that out to you guys. So what we're going to do now is we're going to jump in to some of the best 10v10 3 stars that you have seen. Very, very unique attacks coming out on this one. Uh, so we have Clan War Killer is going to be going up against the fearless leader in Spartans Legacy, shout out to Grizz. Uh, but Clan War Killer gonna be doing some work starting Queen over here at three o'clock where he will be breaking in. Gonna be doing a triple layer wall break. That's wall break number one. And you can see he's gonna be charging right into this compartment where he is gonna pick up uh, that cannon, that archer tower. He's gonna go ahead and get the, the expo as well. Uh, beautiful rage make sure that queen stays up to full health as he will be engaging those heroes pretty quickly here there goes the second wall break that's wall break number two and it is going to be a damage cc and more common uh what we're seeing now is uh different variations of the big dragon it can definitely wreck a raid but depending if you're bringing a kill squad or something like a queen charge dragon not going to do a whole lot as we saw uh on this attack right here so here we have uh the king bowler kill squad gonna be coming in with the help of a golem gonna be doing all kinds of tanking uh on these point defenses gonna break another wall and you'll see there it goes jump spell down over the expo leading everything into that long compartment to get to not only the archer tower 
but to the expo and to both of the cannons before he goes ahead and starts his Lalo. And here comes his CC Hound followed by a whole bunch of loons to make sure they one shot that wizard tower and head straight into the first of two inferno towers. There we go, haste down, hasting into the air defense down there at six o'clock. And you'll see he does still have a couple more loons to deploy. There they go. They're going to kind of meet up with the main group. They're going to be sh uh, sharing this heal spell as he is going to be hasting in to the second and final Inferno Tower. Loons, unfortunately, will be ending on air defense. Uh, does still have a few loons up. He's all out of spells, though. Still has a goblin that he has left to deploy to make sure he doesn't run out of time. Uh, so you'll see right there, just with a couple loons left, Goes ahead and takes out the air defense. We'll go ahead. We'll go ahead and times this uh, so we can get into the next attack. CWK getting it done uh, again. Shout out to not only CWK but to Grizz from the Spartans Legacy side. Next up, we're going to be seeing uh, Sherry is going to be taking on Pan Jaren Ch uh, Chalky from Spartans Legacy, uh, where he is going to be doing this beautiful, beautiful queen charge. Uh, going to be starting over here, uh, over on the far left-hand side. Baby Dragon, nice Baby Dragon trade uh, to go ahead, not only to set a decent funnel, but to go ahead and take out that cannon as well. And it's going to get a few shots off on the Archer Tower, but it does not go down. You'll see the healers are behind the queen. Here comes the Giants uh, with the bowlers behind. Uh, and you're going to see a very, very unique attack on a very unique base. Uh, not exactly sure if he wanted Queen to go and meet up with the kill squad. But you'll see Queen did go ahead and step down. She's going to go ahead and take out the Wizard Tower. And she is locking on to the cannon. She, she's going to be making her way around the 830 uh, compartment. And you'll see Beautiful Rage, a uh, jump spell right there, and a heal right there inside of the core. We did have... Uh, enemy hound come out of the cc and you'll see he goes ahead and drops down another baby dragon up there at the top of the map in case you missed it that baby dragon took out two archer towers by his lonesome the little baby dragon that could he's gonna get a lot of value from that baby dragon up there uh you will see now that queen is gonna be look at that nasty nasty tesla farm right above the town hall as the queen is working on it you'll see he does have one wizard and one more baby dragon to deploy other than that farm there's not a whole lot left to this base we're gonna have to see how uh cherry is gonna go ahead and take out this nasty tesla farm that was behind that king compartment goes ahead and drops a baby dragon to tank for all four teslas as the queen approached went ahead and popped ability wiped out the teslas queen is now down all we have left is a baby dragon uh he's gonna be taking on well the cannon is not gonna do anything uh but look at the health of this baby dragon baby dragon versus wizard tower baby dragon wins a beautiful three star very very clutch coming down to the last couple seconds a beautiful beautiful attack next up we're gonna be checking out this one from Hugh Trong uh, from Forbidden. Gonna be taking on Chilla 282 from Spartan's Legacy. Uh, this was, I, if it wasn't the lowest Town Hall 10, it was made, if it wasn't the lowest, it was the, the, the second to lowest. This is a lighter Town Hall 10 base, but wait till you guys see this attack that Hugh Trung is bringing to this base. Three, he's gonna be doing a stoned entry uh, with just a bunch of bowlers. He said, I'm not bringing any witches. Uh, you'll notice he does have 12 hogs for the back end. So you can already see the kill squad has done absolute work. He did have two jumps uh, deployed already. He had two rage and one heal. And you'll see he does still have uh, quite a few troops up, le uh, still up in the core, all kinds of bowlers. Still has queen ability, which is absolutely crucial. Uh, but he's really saving, uh, you know, really hanging on to these hogs. Gonna be doing a nice surgical deployment. Went ahead and dropped a few hogs over at 10 o'clock. Same thing up at 12 to go ahead and take out that Tesla. Didn't want to bring every, he didn't have any spells for his hogs. All his spells were for that main push through the entry and through the core of the base. So did, you know, definitely had to go surgical as there were a couple bombs still up, as you see on either side of those elixir collectors. Uh, but got it done. All defenses down. The mortar was the last defense uh, to go down. We'll go ahead and times this. We still have a couple more Town Hall 10 three stars to show you guys before we get into the 11 v 11 action in what a 
I mean, just jam this war was jam packed with beautiful attacks. It was so hard. Uh, honestly, it was so hard to really narrow down what attacks we were going to be showing for this recap. And again, a huge shout out as always to Spartans Legacy. But here we have uh, just a straight up uh, shattered, uh, shattered go hobo uh, that we're going to be that Roman is going to be bringing to this attack. He's taking on. Asraf of Spartan's Legacy. Look at that beautiful funnel that he set. The bottom compartment down there was just uh, the empty compartment with just those wall pieces. Made the funnel that much easier. Didn't take a lot to funnel that side. It's just kind of na a natural funnel down there. Just had to funnel a little bit from the top. Uh, went ahead and broke in. Dropped the jump. Dropped the rage. Uh, all of his troops from his kill squad are inside the core, which is exactly where you want them. Starting the hogs over here at 11 o'clock. Bringing in some more hogs over here at 2.30. First heal spell was down. He he had a jump and a rage for the kill squad. Bringing three heals for the hog portion. And look at this huge wad of hogs. And you can see, at the, look at how far his queen barely had. Uh, just popped ability. Went ahead and took up that inferno tower. Uh, just a couple shots. This base, you can already tell, is going to be completely smashed. Has one more heal spell. Is... Roman going to swag it if you answered yes uh, you were right went right on the clan castle uh, hogs ending on the mortar down there at six o'clock and again we'll go ahead and times this before we get into the 11 v 11 three stars beautiful beautiful attack uh, by Roman getting sw swagging on a fully maxed town hall 10 I dare you to try it uh, not only is it hard to three-star Town Hall 10 in general, uh, but swagging a full elixir spell, uh, just getting it done. Beautiful attack, beautiful execution. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and jump in to the first 11 uh, 11 three-star before we go ahead and get into the second one. We have Ty taking on Captain Crunch, and you'll see this is pretty much a sub two-minute raid. He's going to completely flatten this base. Uh, and again, with the attack that we keep seeing time after time again, where you have that queen walk leading into a bitch attack, uh, where she kind of meets up with the kill squad. You'll see he does have uh, Gollum down. That came out of the CC. Goes ahead and breaks in uh, to the outer wall. And you'll see here comes the bowlers. He does have a few witches and a, a wad of uh, bowlers going to be trimming all the trash starting from 6 o'clock, going to be walking up. Uh, you'll see first rage is down. Look at how many bowlers he has heading into this base. Beautiful Grand Warren ability as he goes ahead and approaches not only a whole bunch of point defenses, but that nasty Inferno Tower pretty much one shots it. And you'll see the healers are not only healing up the queen, but also healing up all of the bowlers right inside of the core of this base. Goes ahead and drops down another rage. You have all these bowlers pretty much one shot. Uh, that town hall getting good value from all these rock skips as well. And look at the flank over there at three o'clock. Uh, they've already walked an entire section of this base, and it is still going very strong. Nothing but trash up there. All the defenses, all the defenses have been completely wiped out. Uh, we do have one can up there, but it is no match uh, to that queen, the bowlers, the witches. Uh, last defense to go down was that Tesla swagging queen ability as well. Huge shout to Ty. Uh, picking up that 11 v 11 three star for forbidden. This will be the last and final attack We'll be showing you guys on this CWL invite placement match for forbidden and Spartans legacy We have karma gonna be taking on mr. Boom boom big shout out to him uh, number one versus number one and Lo and behold check out the attack that we have guys. Uh, we are bringing a couple balloons to this attack uh, but again, if you're Town Hall 11 watching this, definitely give this attack a, a try. It's not only working on anti-3 Town Hall 11 layouts, but it's definitely wrecking anti-2 layouts as we just saw in the first one. We're going to have another sub-2 minute raid uh, using this attack. And it's a similar entry, uh, similar start to the attack that we just saw where Queen started over at 9 o'clock walking down. Uh, breaking into that first layer, jumping into the core where we have the Inferno Towers, the Town Hall, and all these defenses, uh, and basically all that trash over there on the kind of the bottom right-hand side, not going to be protected. Uh, you'll see there was one Tesla right there went ahead and dropped a loon with a baby dragon to go ahead and take it out. Beautiful rage right there in the core. Healers doing their job. 
healing uh, not only the queen, healing the grand warden, healing all of the bowlers. And when it's under rage, uh, even a even a fully maxed Town Hall 11 does not have enough uh, DPS inside the core to stop these healers under rage. Uh, and you'll see right there getting good value from all those rock skips. This attack is going to be ending in 30 seconds. Uh, we'll go ahead and times it a little bit more towards the end. Uh, right now it's pretty much just a matter of time. It's mainly just trash other than the Archer Tower and we have the Grand War the enemy Grand Warden in his uh, statue form, I guess, if you will. Uh, the base was completely wrecked. Huge shout out to Karma picking up the second 11v11 uh, three star of this war. And I mean, that's pretty much gonna do it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the recap. I wanna give a big shout out to all the guys and girls over in Spartan's Legacy. Uh, shout out to Greg, shout out to Grizz, uh, shout out to Mr. Boom Boom. And of course, to everybody in Forbidden for inviting me over to go ahead and capture this incredible uh, war. CWL invite. Uh, it was the first placement war, if I'm not mistaken, uh, for both of these clans and Forbidden getting the narrow victory, but a victory nevertheless over a dominant clan uh, like Spartan's Legacy winning by 0.5% the final. 113 to 113. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, make sure you guys leave it a like. Um, comments, questions, or concerns down in the comments section below. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you in the very next video.